course, is this Sunday, so why not treat dad to a feast? We asked one of our favorite dads, Chef Aaron from Kroger, to come in and show us some of his recipes, which are always quick and simple and, most importantly, delicious. And these are no exception here. Dad is going to love these. The whole family is going to love these, particularly the dessert. We'll get to that in, in just a second. Or do you want to start with dessert, well, Chef Aaron? start with dessert, right? Okay, let's start with dessert. What did you make because for us today? Because if you start with dessert, there's always room for dessert. <laughs> wow, yeah. I like so, that. So the, the, the easiest part about making this meal today is I'm a dad, right? Right. Uh, it's not always going to cater to everybody, uh, but with most of my recipes, you know, we can tweak things uh, to what your particular dad that you're cooking for enjoys. Yeah. So we're going to start with dessert. Uh, brownie batter, super simple. One box of uh, the Supreme Triple Chunk Brownie Mix. Okay. Sounds really healthy. Uh, <laughs> One eight ounce container of cream cheese, a cup and a half of whipped topping. Um, so you want to let that thaw out just slightly. You're going to mix all three of those together. And that's it. That's it. So um, the beauty of this is you can add chocolate chips for the look like I have. Um, it's not going to be the most appealing to the eye, uh, but it's going to be super, super delicious, really rich. And then uh, I chose to put it with pretzel sticks, which is going to have a little bit of salty sweet right. combination. I love the salty sweet. Not everybody does, but a lot of people do. So, and I, we, we've all been eating this already, and I can tell you that it's delicious. It's a good <laughs> crowd pleaser. So um, you can do it for dad. You can do it for the whole family. The kids are going to love it for yeah. sure. Uh, you can choose to use, um, uh, excuse me, graham crackers, other graham cracker sticks. Uh, if they don't want pretzels, you can have options. Uh, but that that's the dessert. Uh, super, super simple. Love it. Uh, this one's a little bit more challenging than I typically bring on a few more ingredients. Uh, but I felt it was necessary for Father's Day. You want to celebrate, Dad, yeah. You do, you do. Uh, and, and what I did, um, I don't have it here uh, because it would be a lot to show, but I used an electric skillet. And okay. so we have electric skillets that are uh, about 20 inches long. I cooked everything in the pan at the same time. A one pan meal. Yes. So See, I, everybody I put, loves that. I put the steak in there uh, that I seasoned with the uh, Texas inspired rub. You can do just salt and pepper. Um, by the time you put all these flavors on there, you might not even notice it. Uh, so I cooked the steak. I have the shrimp skewers. The shrimp on the skewer helps with presentation, but it also helps with the ease of cooking it. Uh, you could grill these if you wanted to, but again, just put it in the pan uh, with a little bit of butter, a little bit of oil. Uh, the, the, the tough part here is going to be the baby bella mushrooms and the spring onions. I cut off the whites of the spring onions and I cut up the baby bella mushrooms. Same pan, again, uh, a little butter, a little oil. You're cooking that down when that starts to turn, the onions start to turn clear. You're going to add borson cheese and that's going to add a gigantic punch of flavor. A little splash of bourbon um, and that's optional, of course. And, and you're going to pull that out of the pan and let that sit on the side. The corn cakes here we have are a pre-cooked cornmeal. They call it mush. Essentially what it is, is it's just pre-cooked cornmeal. You just slice it in rings and you get that beautiful presentation. That's funny. I thought that was grilled pineapple. No. I didn't even realize what no, so that was. Yeah. That's cornmeal. And what you're going to do, and, and again, with the, uh, with the particular uh, pan that I have, it's a nonstick pan. So it's going to get a nice crunchy edge and it's going to pull off really nice. So to keep things uh, relatively simple, you're just gonna slice up that steak and then you're just gonna put the shrimp right over it. Oh, and you're gonna that. have a nice presentation. There's nothing crazy about it. I saved some of the green tops from the, uh, from the spring onion. So we're gonna use the entire onion in the end. Uh, but again, it, it looks over the top, but you're doing everything in one pan if you have that option. Otherwise, uh, you can use the same pan and just kind of rotate uh, food out of it. If you do cook the steaks and you put the bourbon in, that's going to work and pull some of those bits off the bottom and add a little bit more flavor. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a meal that uh, I think most dads would absolutely love. Yeah. So we'll have all these ingredients and, and, recipes, and recipes for you at local12.com if you want to make anything. Anything else special going on, Kroger, for Father's Day? Uh, I mean, we always have something special yeah. going on. Uh, but uh, in particular, I just know uh, a lot of steaks are going to sell. A lot of weekend. steaks are going <laughs> to sell. That's right. Well, Chef Aaron always does an amazing job. So these are, and this one, I'm telling you, we've all been eating this. It is delicious. And you could kind of customize that. Yes, too, of course. Like yes, said. of course. Very good. Well, thank you, Chef thank Aaron. You. And by the way, happy Father's Day thank to you. you.